I'm LP Master Six. I almost entirely forgot to press record, and I would have just started playing the game like an idiot. But we join Mario as he's asleep. Oh, he wakes up if you move the camera. Let's dumb. All right, here we go. Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. In Europe, those oh the opening and closing sounds sound different, but. Like, they sound the same as each other, so opening and closing sound the same. There's an unneat fact for you, and look! A painting of Peach! Oh, it's Bowser, it's a trap! Bwahaha! <laughs> You've stepped right into my trap, just as I knew you would. I warn you, friend, watch your step. Oh boy, this is Bowser in the Dark World. Listen to this song. It's called Bowser's Road or Koopa's Road. Or don't. I apologize. That's right. Each of the Bowser stages, the back of the box even says you fight him three times in the game, so it's really... <laughs> oh, that's death number 15. I can't believe we've died that many times. Okay, now listen to the song. That was so dumb. This enemy is called an amp. They make their debut in this game. They're just electrified balls, so don't touch them. They're pretty easy to dodge. What is in here? Just coins. There is no hundred coin star in here because there aren't a hundred coins. It's just one simple level. And that's nice and charming about it. See, they saved their linear, like, just get to the goal level design here. But they still hid a star in each of the levels like this, which is really cool. For instance, here's just an optional path over here. But if we want to complete the game, we have to go over here and get that red coin hidden behind the pillar. And there's another one up for our trouble. See? They reward you for exploring. It's beautiful. Oh my god, why did I do that? Oh. Okay, well, I'm not dead, so that's great. <laughs> But this song is one of the best video game songs of all time. And, you know, I think that about the Mario 64 main theme, definitely Dire Dire Docks. Slide, aka Slider. Uh, Slider seems to, be the me seems to be the more official name. A lot of people think that was a typo. I thought it was a typo for a long time. It definitely was not. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get it. I, I'm feeling bold, so I got the one up. <sighs> oh, I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. The uh, last red coin should be, yep, right there. No, that's not the last one. I'm dumb. Oh, free camera, because there's, because it's a nice open piece of space. Thank God. Uh, Alright. I've played it long enough at this point. We're almost to the, you know, check mark of checkpoint. The, the third... We're almost a third of the way through the game. I'm sorry, I can't talk at all. And I feel like I can safely say, this game doesn't... Con You're kidding me. The hidden Goomba, did you see that? There's a Goomba that's loaded in below the ground. Uh, it's, it's placed incorrectly. So it is uh, known as the Mysterious Goomba, and there isn't a known way to kill it. Uh, I was going to say, this game kind of controls like shit. 
I can't believe I have to collect them all again just because, oh, we died right before collecting the star. <laughs> like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, just get used to it, but that's not the issue. It's not just a matter of the controller, which I can get used to. It's a matter of, I don't know, just the way the game feels. It feels good, and it's perfectly okay. I just mean comparatively. Comparatively, however you pronounce that word. Uh, the game just doesn't control like any other game after it, really. Which is not a good thing. But it's still perfectly playable and still perfectly fun and honestly it provides a... It's an artificial frustrating challenge, but it's a challenge. Okay, I think we're safe to come back here. Hmm. That was tense. Alright, but remember, in areas like this, it's very useful to use the camera to your advantage. You know, whatever angle you are comfortable platforming with, that is the angle you should go with. But, oh my god, for some reason, just this little section... I don't... This not only tripped me up a bit as a kid, because I was really bad at the controls then, and that was me, not the game. I, I don't know, just the... Oops, checkerboard pattern. <laughs> Something about it. Just stuck out in my mind so much. When I would think of Super Mario 64, this is one of the main parts of the game I would think about, is this exact, like, screen shot right here. Alright. Oh, oh my god, don't fall again, please! <laughs> Mario! It's Peach! Please be careful! Bowser is so wicked! He will try to burn you with his horrible flame breath! Run around behind him and grab his tail. Oh my god. Run around behind and grab him by the tail with the B button. Once you grab hold, swing him around in great circles. Rotate the control stick to go faster and faster. The faster you swing him, the farther he'll fly. Use the C buttons to look around, Mario. You have to throw Bowser into one of the bombs in the four corners. Aim well, then press B again to launch Bowser. Good luck, Mario. Our fate is in your hands. I love how she can just communicate in Bowser's dark world here. Wow, another power star. Mario gains more courage from the power of the castle. Do you want to save? You bet. I'm so glad it's not just a boring yes or no. Listen to Bowser's theme. I have forever been bad at this, and I will forever be bad at this. But I'm okay with that. So long, gay Bowser. It worked! I did it! Very easy boss fight. If you heard that sound right there, that was taken from King Kong. More on that later. But uh, Bowser has blue eyes in earlier builds of the game. Early screenshots, at least. Grr, I was a bit careless. This is not as I had planned. But I still hold the power of the stars, and I still have Peach. Wahaha! <laughs> You'll get no more stars from me. I'm not finished with you yet, but I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this. Later. Did you see all the coins that burst out of him and then disappeared? Originally, he was to drop a power star instead of a key... And a bunch of coins. But now, it's just a key. And that was essentially a chapter boss fight. Congratulations! Bowser in the Dark World clear. Very nice. Ah, oh, 10 lives. That feels good. Well, we have completely cleared Bowser in the Dark World. And with that, we can finally go to the... This key doesn't fit! Maybe it's for the basement. I've never seen that text in my life. Okay. That's right. It's time for essentially chapter two of three in the game. The basement. I don't know why I'm going that way when I knew it was down here.
Oh, actually, we can already open that. I forgot, because we have 30 stars. <laughs> so we can already beat Bowser again. But we're going to save that for later. <gasps> Can't go up there. I always tried to get up there as a kid. I've done it a couple times, I think. But there's no need. It's just navigating the hub. I love the walls in here. Everything looks so good. Toad! Hello? Wow! You've already recovered that many stars? Way to go, Mario! I'll bet you'll have us out of here in no time! Be careful, though. Bowser and his band wrote the book on bad. I love that. That's my favorite line in this game. Take my advice. When you need to recover from injuries, collect coins. Yellow coins, yeah, yeah, we know that. Also, if you fall, yes, okay, we already know all of that, Toad. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. All right, what else is in here? <gasps> a rabbit. Get a good look at his face. Because he's about to run! Another beautiful memory I have. To catch this rabbit is necessary for completing the game. So I'm going to try to do that right now. And I was the designated person in my household in childhood to do this. My sisters could not catch him, but I always could. I was always so proud. This guy's name is Mips, named after the processor used uh, to create the game. Uh, also, he was one of the first things programmed in the game. And originally, he was Koopa the Quick. But uh, he was deemed too fast. So they changed the rabbit into a turtle for the racing. Yow! Unhand me, brute! I'm late, so late. I must make haste. This shiny thing? Mine! It's mine! Finders, keepers, losers... Oh, late, late, late! Ouch! Oh, take it then! A gift from Bowser it was. Now let me be. I have a date. I cannot be late for tea. A good chunk of that speech was a reference to the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Which I find especially cool because Super Mario Brothers was heavily inspired by Alice in Wonderland. Especially the Super Mushroom mechanic. Yes, I will save. Thank you very much. We almost have 40 stars. We can pick him up again. We can't throw him. We can set him down. Originally, you were able to throw him by the ears, but that was never implemented in the game fully. Oh, well, well. We can keep walking around. There's a painting right there. Terrifying looking. Scared me as a kid. So you won't see me say a lot of this stuff, but I was three when I first played this game. This is one of the few games, one of the only games, that I could, where I played it, but I couldn't read. Which is very weird to think about, because I could read for almost as long as I can remember. Alright, we could go through this door and explore more of the basement, but I'm actually going to save that for a bit later. Because I'd like to go ahead and do some stuff here first. We'll save the exploration for other chunks. Hey, Toad. Nice and in the corner. Hold on to your hat! If you lose it, you'll be injured easily. If you do lose your cap, you'll have to find it in the course where you lost it. Oh, boy! It's not looking good for Peach. She's still trapped somewhere inside the walls. Please, Mario, you have to help her! Did you know that there are enemy worlds inside the walls? Yep, it's true. Bowser's troops are there, too. Oh, here, take this. I've been keeping it for you. That's right. If you find this toad tucked in a corner, you get another star. Ah, uh, thank you for the water. What do you say now? Of course, they have a little latency. I guess because it takes their power to, uh, you know, come out of the walls. Because they're trapped in there. That's what I've always assumed. But we can talk to them again later. There's nothing else in this room except for a giant pit of oil. Well, what do you do when you see that? You jump in it. That's right. It's another world. The first basement world. Course 6. Hazy Maze Cave. Star 1. Swimming Beast in the Cavern. Ah. Uh, bunch of scuttlebugs in here. And listen to this song. This is called Cave Dungeon.
There's a swooper from Mario World. Oh god, the base is so good. Uh, of course, the underground theme is in most Super Mario games. The regular Mario uh, overworld theme for Mario 1 is also in uh, most Super Mario games. Every mainline console Super Mario game has the Super Mario Brothers ground theme in it. This is no exception. It's on the title screen. That's its only appearance, but hey, it's there. And it's a nice, funky version of it. But god, the bass in this version is so good. I love this version of the underground theme. And we're done with this elevator. Ooh. We've been seeing those everywhere. I would like to, you know, unlock one of them. There's a star up there and... <gasps> Swimming Beast! This is Dory! In Japan, uh, this character shares the same name as Bahamut. Uh, one of the bosses, the boss of Sar Volcano. Uh, I can't... Zar Volcano? No, Barrel Volcano. Why am I saying... Oh, because of the Zar Dragon. Uh... Okay, now I'm just confusing myself. I already forgot a ton of Super Mario RPG, apparently. Also, let's ground pound the innocent beast. If we stand on her head and walk, she will take us wherever we want to go. That's right. Thank you, Dora. You are a beast, but you are the best beast. I love her eyes. She looks like a, a beanie baby, which were also very big around this time. We could get the star... Or we could go in here. So let's go in here. Oh? Yeah, that's right. There is a level in a level. Let's go. Welcome to the Metal Cap Switch course. Once you step on the cap switch, the green blocks will become solid. When you turn your body into metal with the metal cap, you can walk underwater. Try it. Listen to this song. I believe it's called Powerful Mario. It's a rendition. God, it's, it's too good. That's a snoofit. Not a sniffit, a snoofit. Later just called sniffits in re releases. You've just stepped on the metal cap switch. The metal cap makes Mario invincible. Now metal caps will pop out of all the green blocks you find. Would you like to save? Absolutely. Oh, I love this. Look at this. Nice crystal. Oh. All right, we got half of them. Let's get the other half. It's time. To walk underwater. Here we go. And listen to this song again. It's that good. Oh. Beautiful. If you, uh... It said right waterfall, left metal cap switch. If you go to the right, you end up outside the waterfall in the castle grounds outside, which is honestly pretty cool. All right, well, we've got time for more stars, so let's do it. Yeah, I'm just going to keep doing Hazy Maze Cave. We could go back and, uh, you know, do through the jet stream now that we can walk underwater in Jolly Roger Bay, but I'm not going to do that right now. We'll save that for later. Okay, he just cuts off his text. That's what I thought the Toads did after giving you a star. But here we go! Let's do Swimming Beast of the Cavern. So I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm very apologizing. Swimming Beast in the Cavern. I love that you can just stomp on it. 
just walk off the edge and accidentally stomp on it. Originally, the game had a mini-map feature. How cool is that? And that's right, for some reason Mario can still control his weight perfectly uh, with the long jump, even if you're metal. But man, that texturing is just so beautifully shiny. Also, if you're metal, you can destroy these boulders, I believe. I'm pretty sure. I'm not positive. Feel free to give it a shot, because I'm not that interested in doing it. Uh, is this a one-up or just coins? Yeah, we want the one-up. Hello? We want the one-up. Perfect. Oh, this is going to give us pain, but that's okay, because we're going underwater, so it automatically gets healed. Wahoo! Alright, I don't remember what I was talking about before. But this, oh, this is just another section where the game really opens up. You can access, basically from this point onward, you can access the, the courses in any order you like, which is really nice. Oh, I remember I was talking about Dory! Uh, and if you'll remember from my Super Mario RPG Let's Play, which a surprising amount of people watched all the way through, it seems like. Oh, that was close. Uh, not really. It wouldn't have been a big deal if we fell anyway, so calm down. Um, Bahamut is related to Yoshi and Boshi. But since Dory shares the same name, Dory is also implied to be related to Yoshi, which is pretty cool. Makes sense considering Dory is a plesiosaur, a type of dinosaur uh, that was a swimmer that basically looked like that, or at least they used to think. Now I think they think it had feathers. Turns out most dinosaurs had feathers. They found out of, like in 2015 maybe. I don't know. I'm not a person to ask on this subject. But next time I will see you for more of this awesome underground level, Hazy Maze Cave. I'm LP Master 6. And I'm a, as obnoxious as ever. Jeez.